News now, the former local dentist accused of hurting child patients is in jail right now after he turned himself in on Medicaid fraud charges. Action News Jax was first to tell you about the accusations against Dr. Howard Schneider. Action News Jax, Catherine Barnum is live in Ortega and Catherine, angry parents say that he's been doing unnecessary dental work for years now. Tanika, he had been a local dentist in Jacksonville for decades. We know that just before 4 o'clock today, Dr. Howard Schneider turned himself into JSO on 11 counts of Medicaid fraud. We first started looking into Dr. Schneider back in January. We were the first station to tell you about the allegations of mistreatment after parents came to us saying the doctor had performed unnecessary treatment on their kids. Attorney John Phillips represents many of the alleged victims in the case and served Dr. Schneider with 58 notices of intent to sue for medical malpractice. Dr. Schneider has repeatedly refused to answer our questions at one point, even trying to run over one of our photographers with his car. We're also getting through a new document filed in Dr. Schneider's divorce case just last Friday, where he asked for money he claims his wife put into a trust fund that he cannot touch. He wants his equal share to handle attorney's fees in this new legal battles and is also paying his $850,000 bond. Now, the local mother we spoke with who first broke this case wide open, she's going to be here speaking. Speaking with her attorney in the next 20 minutes, I'll have that interview for you all new tonight, starting at 6. We're live in Ortega. I'm Catherine Varnum, CBS 47.